Tonight, we're also hearing from U.S. Congresswoman Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene and other supporters of the former president following news of the indictment. Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bimefor is live tonight in Congresswoman Greene's home district of Rome. So, Chelsea, how are they reacting to this? Well, guys, it's no secret that Rome and Floyd County typically vote red during presidential elections. And the people we spoke with tonight say this indictment doesn't change anything for them. If Donald Trump becomes the next Republican nominee in the 2024 uh, election, they say they'll still vote for him. They're calling this entire indictment ridiculous. The indictment brings felony charges against Donald John Trump. They are creating a big national conspiracy, looping in with state DAs to bring charges against him, to smear his name as much as possible, and try to cause him to lose the 2024 presidential election. Conservative Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is speaking out following a Fulton County grand jury's decision to indict former President Donald Trump on Monday. Fannie Willis should be focused, hyper focused on the crime in Atlanta because that's what Fulton County residents are paying taxes for. And in reality, it's absolutely ridiculous bringing these fake charges against President Trump two and a half years later after he's left office. This is absurd. Some of Taylor Greene's constituents in Floyd County agree with her. I think it's just another political ploy. I think that he is being railroaded. And I think this is a Gestapo type situation and I'm personally embarrassed. Both Taylor Greene and Trump supporters we spoke with Tuesday night are questioning the timing of all of this as both Trump and Willis are in the middle of re-election campaigns. I mean, they could have done this three years ago, but no, they're going to wait to the middle of his campaign, to the middle of the election cycle, and then they're going to go for it. And it's just... It's so blatant. They point out that while Trump is running again for president, Willis is also campaigning to keep her seat as DA, even launching a fundraising website last Thursday, just days before the indictment. Willis has consistently stated the Fulton County Trump case isn't personal. It's about holding those accountable who allegedly tried to interfere with Georgia's election system. But not everyone is buying it. I think it's a travesty of justice. I think it's a disgrace for the state of Georgia. Anything to keep Donald Trump out of the White House, they will stop at nothing, at nothing. And Marjorie Taylor Greene also added that she still believes there was election fraud in Georgia in 2020. Donald Trump has said he's hosting a press conference early next week where he will present a report that he claims will exonerate him from all of the charges. Reporting live in Rome tonight, Chelsea Bynfor, Atlanta News First. Chelsea.